Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. <clears throat> Adrian Broner, in case you weren't aware, is a very sad twat. Uh, he was last seen, I think it was earlier today or last, yesterday, going into McDonald's, berating the staff, didn't have his shirt on. The lady behind the desk said to him, you need, you need to wear a shirt, mate. You know, and, or, and she, she, I think she was a supervisor or the manager. Uh, he ignored her. He wanted to speak to the guy who put his order together, uh, his McDonald's burger. Uh, he wasn't happy with his burger or his shake, or whatever the hell it was, you know, his kid stuff. But it, it was actually filmed by a mate of his, and then I believe he stuck it on his own Instagram <laughs> account. <laughs> oh, the guy's a bell end, man. But what a waste. What a waste, Broner is. He's 34 years old. Um... He's currently got a, a record of 35 wins, 24 KOs, uh, four defeats, all on points and a draw. And he was last seen in June, J -j June, I think it was June of this year, beating a guy called Bill Hutchinson, who I've never heard of, on a Don King card, probably in some school gymnasium. And I don't even know if he, if he got paid, because old Don, he might be in his 90s, but old habits die hard, so I don't even know whether Broner got paid for that. Uh, you want to talk about street guys? Don, <laughs> Don's probably forgotten and Broner will, more than Broner will ever know. He didn't fight last year, 2022. He fought in 2021 once against Giovanni Santiago. He was undefeated at the time. Won a 12-round decision, although very, very close, well, controversial fight. A lot of people thought Broner lost that. Didn't fight in 2020. Fought Pacquiao in 2019 and got outpointed over 12. Prior to that, 2018, Jesse Vargas drew with him. And in 2017, Mikey Garcia beat him on a unanimous decision. I mean, this is, he has totally pissed away his talent, Broner. And he did have talent. Because a lot of people are saying, well, he was never that good. No, he was never great, but he had ability. And I know he's picked up belts in four divisions, but that simply is a, that's a damning piece of evidence that, um, that there are just too many belts. And that it's if you have the right connections, you can be manoeuvred into a, position where you're picking up world titles. I mean, look at Rodi Romero, for Christ's sake, you know, against Barroso. Um, absolute BS stoppage. The guy looked absolutely ter terrible, and, yet he, and he was coming off a knockout loss to Tank. Uh, so if you've got the right connections, they can put you there, you know. Um, if you look at Broner, I mean, he hasn't he hasn't scored a knockout since he stopped Ashley Theophane in, in nine rounds. I think Theophane was on his feet, and that was in 2016. So seven years have gone by, he's 34 now, he's just wasted his career, completely wasted. I don't know if he's held on to any of his money, because he was making good money at one point. But the idea that someone who was or is a millionaire can go into a McDonald's and pick on some, some kid who's getting minimum wage, who's never going to get a sniff of any real money, and certainly not while he's working at McDonald's, I mean, it's an atrocious employer, and... Uh, a very, very. Uh, if you if you've ever read Super Size Me, <laughs> you know that book, great book, you'll know just what a, an odious corporation it, it was and possibly still is. I don't know. I don't know now. Maybe maybe they've changed for the better. I don't know. But they they have a history of treating their workers very poorly. And for Broner, a millionaire or a former millionaire, to go in there and give some poor kid grief over absolutely nothing, it just shows you what a punk he is. You know, I'm from the hood, I'm a street guy. I mean, fuck you know. You know, uh, no, nah, he's just trash, trashy individual. So, yeah, go and have a look at that video. I'm not even going to put it in the comments section because it's, it's only about a minute long. Um, but it just shows you what a pathetic excuse for a human being he is. He behaves like he's 12 years old. It's like giving a fucking, you know, a fucking... I don't know. A clown, a, you know, the keys to the sweet shop. If you give too much, too young is a is a possible thing. You know, you get a lot of these kids, and they get. You see it with a lot of these Premiership footballers. They get millions of pounds, and they they can't handle it. They start getting gambling problems or feeling entitled, and yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. But Broner's just a punk, in the worst type, the worst type of punk. So yeah, if you've got any comments, leave them below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, and yeah, hit the like button as well, please. Spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing. Let's build the channel up. Let's get some real big subscri subscribers. Get lots of views. And uh, it's your channel as much as mine. 
no, not much point in me doing the videos if you don't watch them. But thanks a lot. Comments below and I'll answer them. And bye for now.